Hello and welcome to the Penguin Prof channel. I'm Valerie Pennington. Today I want to talk about how to capture your writing and drawing digitally. So in the past I've done some videos on how to convert things on paper into a digital format. So how to use your phone, you can scan things, you can also use your phone live to capture your writing on paper in Zoom, so I'll link those videos. But today I want to talk about writing in a digital format, getting rid of the pen and paper altogether. So what are your options? So most faculty are interested in things like, how do I write on my PowerPoint slides? Or how do I write in the whiteboard in Zoom? So the first thing you have to understand is you need hardware and you need software to do those things. So first let's talk about the hardware. So what have you got already? You've got your mouse, and if you're on a laptop or you've got something like this, you've got a trackpad. Um, neither of those are going to give you particularly good results. So I tried, for the purposes of this demo, I really tried to write on the whiteboard in Zoom using my mouse. And I will tell you that there's a lot of tension in your hand. Um, I've tried it on a trackpad as well. You know, I have seen some people do it really effectively, but most people, it's just not natural to write that way. Um, and the result is going to be, uh, how shall we say, pretty bad. So I would recommend if you're going to be doing even a small bit of writing, uh, take a step up from that. Your least expensive option is going to be a graphics tablet. This is an ancient one made by Wacom, but I still have it. It still works. It's got some customizable buttons here and you get a stylus and the stylus usually has some buttons on it too. And you draw and you're going to get a much better result than using a mouse. A more modern version of this is the Wacom One. Um, now I should mention that both of these are wired, so you actually have to plug them into your computer. They do also sell now wireless kits. Um, those are pretty cool. But now, as you can see, um, this is a lot more sort of hand-friendly. So if you want, you can sit comfortably in your chair and recline and draw. Um, these are pretty good in terms of pressure sensitivity. Uh, lots of advancement in the stylus also. So this is a pretty good option. This one will run you about 70 bucks. There are other companies and other brands about half this price, and a lot of them work really, really well. So you sort of get a sense of the price range here. I will say that with a graphics tablet, there is a bit of a learning curve. So we are used to being able to see with pen and paper what we're writing as we're writing it. And obviously that doesn't work here. So there's a bit of a disconnect because what happens is you're writing, but you're not looking at the writing surface. You're looking at the computer and that can take a little bit of getting used to. The more expensive route, of course, is to get something like an iPad or a Surface Pro, an LCD tablet where you can draw on the tablet and actually see what you're drawing right there. It's a lot more natural. Um, you can use your finger, of course, as Steve Jobs intended, but um, I don't think that's nearly as good as a stylus. So there are lots of different options here. This is the iPad Pro with a second generation Apple Pencil. This is the best stylus I have ever used. Um, it, it's absolutely remarkable. You can actually get screen protectors that will make this feel like writing on paper if writing on glass is just not working for you. Um, and I'll put some links in the description box. For... So those are your basic hardware options. Then you have to consider software. So what are you going to actually be drawing on in terms of what's on your computer? So you have to consider whether or not you want this drawing to be collaborative or not. Are you gonna be drawing with lots of other people? Um, if you are, then Zoom Whiteboard is the obvious choice, right? Because everybody's using it. Um, Zoom Whiteboard actually gives you fairly good options for drawing, different colors, different size pens. If you look at the bottom corner, you can actually make different pages of that whiteboard. I just found that out recently. Another recommendation would be Jamboard, which is a Google product and it's also free. And I think that it's got a more robust uh, tool set. Um, it's really, really nice. Check out Jamboard if you need to create something for your classes where people are going to be sharing and collaborating on drawings. If, on the other hand, you don't need collaborative stuff and you just need to draw on your own stuff, um, there are a lot more options there. And a lot of faculty are just looking for ways to draw on Google Slides or PowerPoint Slides or Keynote Slides. A lot of those products have things like that already built in. So if you're using PowerPoint or Keynote, um, they have presentation tools that will allow you to draw right on there. Something that I really like to do with the iPad is to use the iPad as a remote device and actually control the slides and draw on them as I'm moving through the presentation and recording on my screen. 
There are other types of whiteboards that you can use. Chrome Canvas is one that's very, very easy. That is unrelated, by the way, to the class management system called Canvas. If you're a Windows user, you can use the Snippet tool. You can upgrade to Epic Pen, which gives you a lot more writing options. Mac users should check out Desk Scribble and Presentify. And these are small apps, they're very inexpensive or free, and they will allow you to draw on anything on your desktop. So that's it. Um, it's not that difficult, really. Find out, you know, depending on your budget, I'll put some options in the description box and uh, give it a shot and see if you can get away from pencil and paper altogether. As always, I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much for visiting the Penguin Prof channel. For more videos like this, check out my EdTech playlist. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.